Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be playing as a police officer with the Grape Sea Police Department. We're currently out here on US Route 13, which is part of our jurisdiction. So we're going to be doing a little bit of traffic enforcement on the highway, as well as responding to any 911 calls in Grape Seed. So today we are going to be using the 2014 Dodge Charger. And this pack has a couple of interesting vehicles. It also has a... Um, Oh, 77. Did you not even see me? All right, let's stop him. It also has a Ford Expedition and a Chevy Silverado, which hopefully I'll be able to show you guys later on in this episode when we call for backup. So this guy went by at 77 and a 60. So we're going to go ahead and light him up. All right, he's pulling over. It took him a little while, but he is stopped. Okay, first thing we're going to do is run his license plate with dispatch, see if we have any hits on it. Target vehicle license plate, 62 Paul Zebra George 805. A traffic violation, approach with caution. All right, 10 for dispatch. Um, you know what, let's request an additional unit out here too, just because this vehicle has like no registration or anything like that and we're a pretty small department so i'm just gonna call another unit out plus i want you guys to see the other vehicles too hey how you doing sir my name is officer ace with the grape seed police department you have any idea why i'm pulling you over today sir okay reason for the stop you were actually driving pretty fast back there on us route 13 in the southbound lanes you were going 77 miles per hour speed limit is 60 you have your license registration proof of insurance on you sir uh, he's refusing to show registration and insurance, and that's probably why, we, because he doesn't have it. Okay, sir, do you have uh, registration for this vehicle? Is this vehicle registered? Does it have insurance? You don't need it. You always drive carefully. Okay, no, you do need insurance. Everybody needs insurance on the road, sir. Uh, what's, what about your registration? What's up with that? You just bought the vehicle from a friend. Okay. All right, go ahead and sit tight for me. So, uh, he has no registration for the vehicle no insurance so i'm probably gonna have to tow this thing now let me run his name uh, just to see if his license is good looks like the driver's license is valid stopped three times before been arrested uh, last year aggravated battery okay so we're gonna give him a bunch of tickets here um he's gonna get a ticket for speeding he's gonna also get a ticket for driving without insurance and driving without a uh, drive without registration and driving out insurance. Technically, we could arrest them for that too, for not having the insurance. All right, looks like we have our backup unit arriving on scene. We got the Chevy Silverado here now. So let me give this guy his uh, citations, and I'm also gonna ask him to step out of the vehicle. All right, sir, I am going to give you three citations, one for speeding, one for driving without registration, and one for driving without insurance. I'm going to also ask you to step out of the vehicle at this time, okay? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. All right, thank you, sir. All right, follow me over here. You have any weapons on you that we need to know about? Okay, my partner's just going to pat you down for our safety, okay? Put your hands up, face your car. Ooh, sir, ask if you had any... Okay, we're going to 1099 that. So he had a baggie of meth and a baggie of blue crystals. So it looks like he's uh has drugs on him. So we're going to also search the vehicle, the see if we fuck? find anything in there. All right, right this way, sir. I wonder if he's using the other drugs. We're going to have to ask him to find out. All right, sir, Um, I do have some more questions for you. Is there anything in the vehicle that we need to know about? Any more drugs? Nothing's in the vehicle, okay. And uh, have you had anything to drink today? Have you been drinking? No alcohol, any drugs? No drugs, okay. Go ahead and stay right there. You guys keep an eye on them. I'm gonna search the vehicle, see if I find anything else. And we also gotta do a drug test to figure out what those blue crystals are. All right, nothing in the vehicle. So we are going to request a tow truck to come pick this up. Oh my God, look at the tow truck in the background. Oh my God, it spawned in a terrible spot. Wow. So we're gonna do a narcotics field test now, guys. Uh, we had the blue crystals. I wanna see what that is. Maybe cocaine, maybe methamphetamine is what I'm thinking. All right, I was wrong. It's actually PCP, so. He's gonna get arrested um, for PCP, the possession of PCP, 
and wait, what else did he have on him? Methamphetamine and PCP. He had some meth too, I believe. I'll double check. Um, what else we got to do with him? Let's do a breathalyzer test since he has not been honest with us. We're going to breathalyze him and drugalyze him just to see if he has anything in there that we need to know about. Thank you. I just realized both of these guys got the same haircut. Like super partners. Almost twinning it, just different colors. So, at this time, sir, you are going to be placed under arrest for the following reasons. That's going to be... All right, at this time, sir, you're going to be placed under arrest for the following reasons. Um, mainly, it's going to be for your possession of drugs, which was the methamphetamine, as well as the PCP. And we can also even kind of arrest them for the... Um, not having insurance but you know what actually no that's not arrestable that's just an impound that i think about it so he's gonna get charged for those two reasons uh we'll let our partners transport him if you guys don't mind y'all could take him in and dispatch we will be back in service hopefully he could even fit in there can you i know that back door should open it's kind of cramped but should work so this is the silverado 1500 which just completely disappeared <laughs> probably because there was no space for him so it probably just made it insta disappear but anyway we are going to be back in service so let's see what else ends up happening today all right guys we got a 911 caller saying they're hearing gunfire just out of grape seed we're going to respond to that call now, it could just be somebody hunting or it could be an actual shootout so we kind of have to take this serious. We never really know what we are responding to. All right, so it's going to be just on the outskirts of Grape Seed as we switch to the Mount Chiliad area. All right, I have a visual on the caller. That's a little suspicious. I wonder if it was that guy. Okay, here we go. We found the witness. Dispatch request on another unit out here, Code 3. Just in case this guy pops out and starts shooting at us from somewhere. Hello, ma'am. Did you call 911? Yeah, that's me. I'm so scared. I heard a loud bang from across the street. A bang like a firearm or fireworks? I'm sure it was a fire. I'm sorry. Okay, calm down. We'll try to find it. Go back inside, okay? And just point me in the direction of where you heard it. It's going to be up there? Okay, thank you. So, uh, let me grab my car since I'm not trying to walk all the way up there. I think he's gonna be down here. I'm gonna drive in this direction just for it to go back to grape seed so I can call for some more grape seed units. Grape seed out here. Hopefully they'll actually come down. They're probably gonna stop right over there. Oh yeah, that's a rock. Dodged it. Oh, I see him, I see him. Alright, looks like he's hunting. Is he trying to hunt? He got a Uzi in his hand. You don't hunt with a Uzi. Grapeseed Police Department, drop the weapon, sir. Grapeseed Police Department. Oh! I can't see, I can't see. Shoot. Oh, he's shooting at me. Okay, he is letting that thing sing. I'm gonna duck down. Car, if I was you, I would get away from here. Alright, where is he? I see him. They sent me to Park Rangers now. See, that's why I didn't want to call for backup over here. Not that I have anything against the park rangers, but it's supposed to be a grape seed police episode. Drop the weapon, sir. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Dang, he was going down to the end. So who is he shooting at over there? Hello. Looks like he had a uh yeah, he had a Uzi. Dispatch requesting a ambulance to our location. I got the park rangers with us. What up guys? Thank you guys for the backup. Damn, it ain't looking good for this guy. Let me uh, search him, see if he has any ID on him or anything. Wallet and a ballpoint pen, his name is James McCarthy. He has a gun permit. I doubt it's for that weapon though, because normally those Uzis are not guns that you can get registered. So let's see what happens with EMS. Do you guys think he's gonna live i mean he he took a lot of shots oh shoot i took a shot too look at my arm dang i got hit about two or three times on my arm okay so we will get a corner out here for him and dispatch you can show us 
code for and back in service with that one. What? I'm finally getting the right corner vehicle? Normally the wrong one comes. This is a first. I wonder why it's finally working. I didn't even change anything. Suspect on the run. Let's let's do that call. Suspect is a Hispanic male wearing a white t-shirt. Find them ASAP. Respond code to Okay. So we're gonna take that call in. All right, keep your eyes open, guys. He was last seen in this area. Hey, sir. Oh! Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, dispatch. I got shots fired. Dude pulled out the gun at point blank range. He's still up. Oh! Damn! They hit him with that AR. That AR is serious. Alright, dispatch. We're gonna need another ambulance to our location. Yo, I thought it was gonna be a quiet day out here in Grape Seed, and now we just got two back-to-back -back shootings and that time I got I got torn apart that time damn what was this guy's problem man I didn't even know he was possibly armed I would have took a little bit more caution but I guess I you know when somebody's wanted you should always take caution so we have a pistol three unmarked pills his name is James Edwards so let's see what's up with James oh, yeah, I meant to check the last guy too I forgot and this call came in, I kind of left fast. So now we got a pursuit going on. Yo, Grape Seed is where the action is to be. Arrest warrant for possession of destructive devices. Wow, okay. Should have checked that before I went, and went ahead and talked to him. But they didn't even give me his name. They just said Hispanic male, so. I didn't even know to look him up. So let's see what ends up happening with that guy. It right, looks like this guy did not make it, so yet again we have to call the coroner for him. Uh, now you guys see what I'm talking about. This time it sent me the construction van like it normally does. Alright guys, so coroner is going to do their thing. It's about to get dark, so we're going to go ahead and end our shift here. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, make sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Make sure you're also following us over on Facebook as well. Turn on those notifications. And check out my website, acepilot2k7.com, for more mods, tutorials, and bonus videos. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the Grape Seed Police Department. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!